Welcome to a video from the thedigitallifestyle.com In this video I just want to do an update on the Korg USB driver issue Back in 2019 I uh, recorded a video of how to get around your issues with the Korg USB driver One of the issues with it is um, Windows allocates slots to devices and if a Korg device was on slot 11 or 12 or anything above 10 it wouldn't work with the door and uh, wouldn't work with uh, music applications and so on so I did an update of it a couple of years ago, uh, if showing how you can use the new drivers. In this video I want to talk about how you don't actually need to install any drivers, so which may get around the issue if you have currently having that issue. If you still have the issue, then I'm going to add it at the end of this video the main part, that, um, how to solve it with the register issue. So if you're having this issue where you, you've got the Korg drivers installed, you can see they're all working, but then when you come to use it in uh, your door or... Uh, virtual synth or something it doesn't work then the first step I would do is uninstall your Korg drivers completely the Korg USB drivers I've just got plugged into this machine now um, a Korg mini log the 2016 Korg mini log and if I go into my devices you can see here it's plugged in no issues and that's just USB with no drivers I've not installed any Korg drivers on this device the same goes I'm going to patch in now my um, mod wave and we'll see how that looks so I just plugged the mod wave in and there you can see it showed up and just to show you what it looks like if you go into something like a VST and I go into settings you can see here the mod wave is showing up. So I haven't installed any drivers and it's just worked and if we go and have a look we can see there the driver is just using a generic driver and not the, the Korg one. If you still have any issues then maybe you could install the Korg driver, make sure you get the latest one and then you should be okay. If you still have any issues with that, then you can follow the rest of this video and make sure you're in slot 10 or below. Of course, if you've already got an issue where it's it's dropped, you, you had everything working then suddenly it's gone on to slot 11 and you don't want to uninstall everything, then you can follow the rest of this guide. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for all the people who sent comments in on the previous video about this as well. So, uh, so here's the guide on how to do the registry side of it. Date. So I'm using the Korg MIDI driver uninstall tool to show you the, the problem. So if you've got a Korg keyboard like a Minilog or um, one of the controller keyboards and then after installing the mate update you notice they don't work with MIDI anymore. This is due to a a bug really in the, in the Korg driver where here you can see my two Korg devices and you notice they're on channel 13 and 14. Well that is no good for the Korg driver. They need to be on channel one to now zero to nine for it to show up in your door or in your in your control applications. So them being there like that is no good. So how do we fix it? Well, this the, there is a registry, uh, a couple of registry keys which I want to show you now. The other option is completely remove all the Korg drivers and use the default drivers, but that doesn't work. Um, that doesn't give you all the features, so it's better if you can use the Korg drivers. So let's have a look at how we fix that. You've got to go up into RegEdit, which I've got open here, and the first step is to go to the um, HK Local Machine System Current Control Set. So let me go back to the start on here. So HK Local Machine, and then we want System. Let's open that. Current control set. Control, which we're there. And then class, which is here. Now there's loads of entries on here. And what you're looking for on here is Korg, or you can use search for the driver name. So I found my first one there, so number 21. And you're looking for one that's got these two keys description and driver and you need to add one um, an alias called alias so I'm going to do a new and you want a new string value and that should be alias and then the value in here for your first MIDI port should be MIDI 1 okay that's that one done so now if I repeat that search so I go uh, press F3 on my keyboard to repeat that search here's my other Korg MIDI device well, this is my second one 
So I'm going to add alias again and call this MIDI 2. I've only got two. If you had a third one, you could press F3 and search the third one. Okay, that's that bit done. Now there's another registry setting that you need to alter, which is um, HK Local Machine Software Microsoft. So let's go back up the registry key, close that. So we go to Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, which is there. And then I want current version, which is there. This because these are expanded already because I've been in them before. And then to drivers 32. There we go. And now you add um, string values that match those that you've just completely you just completed. So I'm going to add a string value called MIDI one. Actually, I'm going to do it lower case because that's what I did before. So match, make sure these match. And I want one called MIDI 2 because I did 2, didn't I? So MIDI 2. And now in that there, you put the driver name. So that's the driver name that I copied before. And in there, I can put that on there. OK, so that's it. That's complete. That's actually done all the bits that I needed to do. Now if I go to code driver, I'm not sure I have to reload this. Let's have a look. Let me reload. So here's this. the code driver up there. So you can see here I've gone for two and three instead of one and two. The reason for that is even though this machine has already been happily using one and two and um, I deleted all the settings so I could show you on this video, it still wouldn't take number one because it somehow has got revert re reserved. So what I did is you can see on that one I changed there and then if I go back to my two Korg devices you can see there there's three and there is number two so you can have the same thing because if you've got three or four Korg devices then that just follow on sequentially the next one will be f um, so I've got two there three the next one will be four five and so on so now you can see on here now they're all up and running and um, that's ready to go so I haven't got any mystery ones further down and that will work fine with my door and uh, the cog uh, uh, radius editor and so on so that's it so two steps really you've got to create these in the uh, in this registry setting here you've got the two devices where you add in the alias being MIDI 2 and 3 in my case and then you've got that drivers one where you add in the values that you've just created so there's my two and three. I've got a text-based article on this as well on the digitalized.com so check out that if you want some assistance. Thanks for watching.